But that's DC, and this is Xenoscope. Comics today in the mail, Captain Adams and Adventures of Superman in Action Comics. Uh, review of Brimstone, number one from Xenoscope. There she is. Okay. Did a review yesterday. It didn't record properly. Okay. Typical stuff. I'll just show a bit of it. Bit of it. Cowboys. Set of state of Nevada in 1864. The new state of Nevada. Uh, height of the Civil War. Now it involves the mining town of Brimstone being taken out. And it looks like it's Neverworld creatures which have taken it out. And the boss of the mining companies, the chain of companies by the looks or something like that, has arranged for a, a posse to go in, travel to Brimstone, and sort it out. And it's a group of about four or five of them, something like that. Let me see. Uh, there's the group. There's six of them in the group, and I think one of them is the bloke who's uh, organising it. That's the, that's the posse. Now, there's a, a deadly sort of killer fella. Uh, an Irishman by the looks of it. A Chinaman. A, uh, a Negro, I suppose, for want of a better word, or a black man. And um, the leader of the group. And uh, the one who's organising and another dude by the looks of it. So there's six in the posse. And it takes them a number of days to get to Broomstone. And, uh, yeah. And the cover is a misnomer because there's not really any hot chick action, but Xenoscope loves those covers. But on the final page, we see them as they're sort of coming to Broomstone, the blokes, they're down there. They're coming into Broomstone. She's watching. Okay, so that's Broomstone number one. Now, it was a bit, a little bit light on the dialogue. It wasn't too much dialogue. It was sort of a short, quick read. And I made some comments yesterday on um, in the video yesterday about how DC and Marvel are quite old. And I think they've, for want of a better word, they've been judged a lot over the years. Critical opinions have been made on the comics. And they've probably got a sense of how much is supposed, a comic is supposed to be about. And I think usually they've, they've probably got to deliver a certain amount of words normally for a DC comic to really get it past as acceptable enough for the DC Comics fan base. And same for Marvel and so forth. But a company like Xenoscope, the, the readers for Xenoscope are not ancient and they haven't had, uh, you know, 80 odd years of criticism of that company. So they don't really have to necessarily go so hard in some ways, I suppose. Some Xenoscope comics could be full of dialogue. I don't know for sure. I have only read a few of them. But um, it was a quick enough read. Now, the artwork is like that yellowy sort of um, tan sort of stuff you, you find on old photos. It's sort of weathered look photo. And that's the, the sort of main look throughout the comic. It looks like a comic from 1864 i suppose the, the artwork looks like it's old and um but the action is is strong enough the the interest it keeps you going it's not a mind-boggling rip-roaring read it's a steady read of cowboy comic fiction a steady read which does its job okay it's not redefining comics in any way shape or form but it's not letting comics down. It's doing its job. And if you buy it, and if you read it, and the ser I think there's probably enough interest to get you on into the, into the second one. And, 
if there's betrayal in there and things like that, all those sort of standard sort of themes and stuff. And uh, it's not too graphic. There's a bit of blood, of, bit of blood going on there, but, but it's not too graphic. Potentially, might be in a few issues. I don't really know, but it's a, a solid enough read by Lent McCarthy and Cho, and it's, it's typical for Xenoscope. If you know anything about Xenoscope, it's sort of the typical sort of stuff, especially the cover, because I like the hot babes on the cover. I generally probably recommend it if you're looking for a comic which is an okay enough read. This series generally does the job, but don't expect Einstein from it. Cheese.